Hello YouTube. Well, I've finally done it. I've finally assembled one of my own kits as part of a quality control run to make sure that everything is ready to go. And I'm kind of pleased with the results. And I gotta think that there's other folks out there that would enjoy building and using a computer like this too. Especially since probably the closest thing uh, to it that used to be in the market was a Replica 1, but Replica 1 was more of an exact functional replica of an Apple 1, whereas this machine is sort of, well, the way I see it anyways, is sort of an Apple 1 and a half. <laughs> it's like a souped up Apple 1 and then it's added hardware handshake and a couple of other features, and also it's able to run AppleSoft Basic and Integer Basic as well. Anyways, uh, let me give you a quick tour. And before I start, let me just say it's it's really hard for the camera to capture the actual size of this thing. It, it's pretty compact. I mean, that sheet of paper it's sitting on is an eight and a half by eleven standard sheet of uh, printer paper that's been folded in half from top to bottom. In fact, here's a good old number two pencil. I'll just kind of lay it across. Uh, you can get a sense of how small this this computer really is, which I think is kind of neat. And uh, okay, let me give you, grab this pencil, a quick tour of what the computer is comprised of. Starting from the bottom left, this is the expansion header. Uh, we move on to a WDC 6502 microprocessor, which is currently being manufactured. Um, here we have 32K of static RAM a 32K ROM chip, but we are only currently addressing 16K of the ROM. Uh, if you go up slightly, this is a WDC 65C 21 PIA. Um, you can also use a 6821 PIA if you desire. Uh, this chip here is a 232 Max uh, serial driver parallax propeller and its associated crystal and its associated EEPROM, uh, the propeller reset tack switch. This is the 3.3 volt power supply, PS2 keyboard connector, RCA composite out. These four chips here comprise the glue logic, uh, resistor pack and also a bunch of resistors. Um, here's the power LED and its associated resistor. 1 megahertz oscillator, um, which is plugged into a socket, which is included in the kit. I've tested up to 4 megahertz, and I didn't see any problems, but I prefer running at 1 megahertz for maximum software compatibility. Uh, let's see, the 555 uh, CPU reset timer, 5 volt power supply, and input jack and diode. I'm not sure how easy you can see it, but there is a spot switch one on the um, PC board here that I included in case you wanted to embed this circuit board in your own case with a uh, with a switch. And uh, in my case, I just jumpered um, the pad so that when you plug it in, it, it turns on. Uh, and there, there is the uh, CPU reset tack switch. And I think that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Here's the uh, serial header, which is also included with the kit, um, including this little ribbon cable out to a DB9 serial connector. What's not included is this uh, US Converters Model 880 serial to USB interface, but um, I highly recommend you pick one of those up if you have a Windows computer. You'll have to use uh, that female to female gender converter so you can plug um, the USB serial converter into the harness. Um, but these are cheap. I got mine for two bucks on Amazon and when you pay two dollars you get two of them. I don't know why you'd need two but uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, okay and then let's look at my power adapter. You can use any 7 to 9 volt DC tip positive power adapter that gives you at least 300 milliamps. But I'd recommend you give yourself a little more headroom for uh, some of the uh, plug-in cards and interfaces that we plan on selling too. So I'd recommend 800 milliamps up to 1,000 milliamps ought to be plenty. Okay, And uh, you can see I'm using a VGA 
monitor here with a cheapo composite to VGA converter box that I bought off of eBay. And I'll give you a little note on that in a second. But let's plug this uh, computer in and then quickly look. Okay, there was the automatic, uh, automated reset of the CPU after the propeller had a chance to boot. And if you look, Serial Connected is actually in green text, but this uh, El Cheapo uh, converter box is only uh, converting black and white signals. Which is kind of a shame because we've got some neat colors with this thing. The header is in white. Serial connected is green. Serial not connected, if you're not connected to a serial, is in red. And then the rest of the text is in blue. And we're currently working on adding some color and ASCII uh, uh, graphic characters to this um, terminal software. Right now, um, those features are not yet available. You can see I'm using version 0 0.4, so this is still a work in progress software wise but uh let's see uh functionally it works very well here's applesoft let's see uh 0.5 there you go uh, so I'm being a nerd and showing Apple one and a half, but also that we're running um, basic, uh, which is capable of floating um, point. So call uh, dash 256 gets you out of either AppleSoft basic, which we're in now, or integer basic. And let's do this. Let's uh, look at our serial um, connection here. Notice it doesn't print the header, it just says ready when the computer boots up. Uh, but it otherwise echoes the te text uh, that's getting sent to the screen. Uh, let's see. We are currently out of basics. So I'm going to show you. Let's load. Let me show you loading that micro chest which I showed you earlier. Okay, there it goes. Send in machine code, it's going kind of fast without errors because we have hardware handshake, which is really cool. And while this is being sent, you see the status LEDs are kind of going bananas here on our uh, US converter. Um, so real quick, looking at this computer, if you want to purchase one or if you're just kind of interested in the details, please head over to our website, putnamelectronics.com. I've just added a support form, so if you join, you can talk about uh, this computer with others that perhaps have already built the kit. Um, what else? We can share details on the software we like to run on these things. I've just added a detailed assembly pictorial where I show um, starting out from the bare PC board to uh, this running computer you see here, all the steps that were involved in assembly. It's really not that hard. Um, and anyways, we'd, uh, we'd love to uh, have you take part in our discussion forum. So head over to PutnamElectronics.com. If you want to buy one of these kits, uh, I'm currently selling at $130 US dollars. That's including shipping anywhere in the US. And uh, that will give you all high quality parts, a professionally made in USA two layer circuit board. Um, all of the capacitors and resistors are viche. Um, the, uh, the pin, uh, the Chip sockets are all of the highest quality. All good stuff. The uh, 6521 PIA and 6502 processor chips are both newly manufactured, current manufacturer. So uh, I think it's a high quality kit. And uh, let's see, we're getting uh, pretty close to this uh, software being uh, fully loaded. This, uh, again, micro chess is about 1K in size, and so this will uh, get to address 18FF, and then it should automatically start micro chess. So we're almost there. I've, uh, so far, I've loaded uh, Super Star Trek, which is really fun to play, but it takes a bit to load. It's a pretty extensive, uh, pretty, pretty lengthy program. Here we go. All right. Boot it up without a problem. Anyways, uh, that's all I wanted to show you this time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.